probably the most powerful and I would argue more unique reporting tools in Visco is the gross margin report tool. So to get to it, it's the reports menu, custom reports, and it's called gross margin details. Now even though it is in the custom reports menu, every Visco install has a version of this. It just can be customized depending on your specific requirements. So it's an Excel based report. So it's it, it loads Excel, but of course the data itself is all going to be pulled from the database. So let's put a date range filter on this. I'm going to say for this year, um, January 1st, 2016 through December 31st, 2016. And I'm saying when, when we're reporting on quantities, what unit of measure do you want to see the quantities displayed in? I'll say pieces. And then this is, how are we running the report? Do we want to see sales by invoice, sales by customer, sales by sales rep, sales by product or product group. We also have versions of this in which you can see this by vendor or by container. Um, let's, let's say we want to see it by customer, for example. So give me my total profitability by customer. And the next filter option here it says include accruals, yes or no. So what this means is when we're displaying costs, do we want to include estimated costs in our calculation or not? If we do want to include the estimated costs, which it does by default, then you would leave that checked and include accruals. This one's summarized by selection, meaning, okay, we know that we're doing profitability reporting by customer, but do we just want to see one row per customer, meaning all sales for that customer and the total profitability, or do we want to more specifically I'm going to uncheck that, in which case it will show us one row for every invoice, and then we can, in fact, subtotal by customer. So it says subtotal by selection, that being our selection, so it's going to subtotal by customer. So let's, let's run it that way. I'll click the Get Data button, runs a query against the database, pulls back all the, the information, and then you'll see that the Summary by Customer tab is displaying our results. So this first group here would be for this Three Brothers customer, and there's all sales to American Food Service, and they go on down the, the, line, the line here. So let's say that we want to see sales to this CompTech, for example. So in this case, we only have one invoice. There's one row here, so we know there's only one invoice for the year. That's our invoice date, our sales order number, who the sales rep was, so who sold it, who bought it, where it shipped from, uh, what warehouse it shipped out of, the invoice number, the product ID, the product type, customer, vendor, and then sales amount. So our total sales was 8500 Our total costs were 4150 So that means our gross profit was 4350 or 51%. Now, the important thing to understand here is this, particularly this product cost section, when we're saying product cost, that's not just what we paid for the product itself, but that's all the costs that have gone into it. So if we wanted to see the details of that, we would scroll out here to the right, and you can see it's breaking down one column for every cost type. So for example, how much were the broker fees? How much was the insurance? What are we paying commissions? Um, what were the customs fees, duty, finance charge, freight? So everything's sort of broken out here in detail and then summarized back in, in the cost section here. So this way, if you see a number here in, in the gross margin that looks off, um, you can research it by, by coming out here to the right and, and figuring out why. Um, then, of course, you've got totaling by customer in this case. So it's our total sales, total cost, total gross profit in dollars and as a percentage for all sales to American Food Service, that customer. And then, of course, down on the bottom, there are grand totals. The one thing I wanted to mention about this, too, is that we're talking about these costs here. It's kind of important to understand how those costs get applied. So I'm just going to touch on that quickly. If we go back into the system in the Finances menu and Cost Entry, the idea here is we're going to be entering bills. So let's put in, a, and they can go in batches, but I'll just put in one, right? So I'll 
That's the vendor's invoice date. We'll choose the vendor. Let's say it's a um, freight carrier. That's our reference number, or in other words, their, their invoice number. Let's say it's $3,000 US charge. And then we're going to click this Edit Cost button, which brings up a list of all the different types of costs that we're keeping track of. Now, the important thing to understand about this list is each one of these cost types in Visco is mapped to a cost of goods sold account in the accounting system, like QuickBooks or Sage or NetSuite or any of the other accounting systems that we integrate with. So this is part of where the mapping comes into play. So let's say it's, it's an ocean freight charge. It's $3,000. Now we're going to choose how we want to apply the cost. So in this case, it's an ocean freight cost, so we're going to apply it to a container. Now in this case, let's choose a container where there's more than one item in it so we can see how those costs get split. So let me do this by filter by, uh, I should say sort by date. I'll pick this container, which this container has two different items on it. Now I can choose of the $3,000, how do I want to distribute that across the items that are on that Container. So let's say we do it by weight. No, you do it by weight, you do it by quantity. We also have options to do this by volume, meaning, you know, by CBM. Um, I'm going to do this by, by quantity in this case, and I'll click recalculate. Now you see what happens. It takes that $3,000, applies 2,996 of it to this item because there was way more of that. It was 99.89% of the container was filled with this as opposed to this. So it's absorbing more of the cost as it should. So we'll say OK, we'll click Done, Done, and then Post, and that sends that bill or that batch of bills to the accounting system. And that's how the, so when we look at this report, the gross margin report, and we're seeing how much of each cost goes in each of the transactions, that's the portion of the cost that's been applied to that specific item.